Hi everybody, it's Sunday, March 3rd. I just wanted to uh, give a brief garden update as to what's been happening since I planted peppers and celery on uh, February 10th. Uh, I'll be doing something today that I've never had to do before, which is transplant celery. Anyway, before I do that though, I just wanted to thank everybody for uh, joining me from the Dale Calder channel. Um, hope everybody's good wherever you are. Uh, once again, Dale, uh, I had 40 people, I guess, 40 or so, join me here on my channel. Uh, thanks for letting me ride your coattails. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so February 10th, I stuck uh, seeds in 18 cells. These are my peppers that I saved from last year. It was a little experiment, of course, I was doing. I was trying to see whether I could germinate seeds that I'd saved for my own peppers. And here is the result. Pretty disappointing. I guess, uh, to be fair, I didn't use a heat pad under it, and the week that I did it, it was very cloudy. And this room, this is a south-facing window, but it's uh, it's not the warmest room if the sun isn't uh, shining through the clouds. It's fairly cool in this room. So I guess next time I would try the heat pad uh, to keep some warmth under it. Okay, so because I only had one germinate, about nine days later on February 19th, I decided to reseed with my leftover store-bought seed. So I seeded six seeds of each. Of course, I did the red start, and right now I have four of them out of six that are up. And I also seeded six seeds of, let's see here, this is our sweet heat, and I got three so far that have germinated. And I seeded also six seeds of this Cajun Bell. And I have four up. I can see the two in the front, one in the back, and one has just come up recently. So if I can keep these alive, I've got 11, of course, with the store-bought seeds and the one, the one uh, trooper from my own seed stock. So 12 is all I really wanted, so hopefully I can keep them all alive. If you watched my first video, I was talking about celery and how difficult it is to germinate. I've always bought my celery from like the hardware store. I've never really ordered it before. Um, there wasn't very many seeds in the package, but uh, they all germinated. Once again, this is what I planted this year for celery at Utah 5270. Really good germination on that stuff. Um, like I said, there wasn't very many seeds in the package, but uh, what they did provide really germinated well. So what I might do next year is I'll just use half the seeds that I did this year. So usually when I plant celery, I only get one or two come up in each cell. I've never had this problem where I've had like 10 all at once. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to split them apart a little bit today, and I'll try and grow them all, and I'll give them away. There's uh, always somebody willing to take, uh, to take them off your hands. Okay, so I dug up some old trays and I kind of cleaned them up a little bit. They're pretty close to retirement, but I guess they'll work. So normally I only have about six plants and that works for me. This year, I guess uh, partially because I have so much celery, um, I'm going to try keeping maybe nine or ten plants. What I'm going to do in the fall is, if anybody's ever grown celery, you'll know that it really handles frost well. So I've decided I might try and put it in buckets and keep it in my garage and I might have celery for half the winter. Anyway. Normally I like to do this outside, but uh, I don't think the plants would take too well. It's uh, below freezing outside right now. I got uh, 18 cells here. I should be able to uh, split these apart. So I got two, two in each one. I'd say that's probably close enough. Oops. Big fat fingers here. these would transplant better if they were a little bit wetter. But I 
guess as soon as I am finished here, I'll soak them good and hopefully they'll survive. So anyways, I ended up transplanting my 12 celeries in uh, inch and a half cells into two inch cells and I ended up with 22 of them. It's about twice as much as I need but like any good gardener I, I have my uh, ways of foisting uh, extra stuff on other people. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. One thing I didn't show is I watered the celery once I started getting into it I noticed that it was fairly dry and it was difficult to transplant so I watered it a little bit and that made it easier anyways something uh, popped into my little brain today and in my next video I'm gonna I'm gonna say something about onions I've had good luck with onions um, but I did have a problem last year and I'm gonna tell you something that I discovered about onions I'm gonna talk about a funny little story uh, something that actually happened to me last summer and um, it's it was kind of an interesting learning experience about onions uh, I'm gonna give you a tip or a suggestion and I can pretty much guarantee you not to be a modest I can pretty much guarantee you that nobody else has thought of this or done this anyway we'll see you next time thanks for watching goodbye everybody